Check, check, audio, audio. We got mic, we got camera, we are rolling. Good morning, everybody. Coming to you from the parking lot of Starbucks. Somewhere in California. Just got done editing in there, so uh, it's gonna be exporting as we speak. I'll hopefully get it uploaded. We've got about an hour drive with traffic into San Fran, and then I'm gonna be exploring around. Get ready for some of that, and then see what happens. I think we're gonna go to the Fisherman's Wharf, Pier 29, 39, whatever. Go check out the Alcatraz, check out all the cool stuff down there. See, this is what I don't, I can never know, I never know how to transition talking into what's happening next, because I still haven't quite figured it out. Um, down the bay! There's the bay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to focusing driving, because this is, all new territory, and uh, there's a lot, a lot of traffic. By the way, I'm uploading the vlog right now to YouTube. Woo! All right, made it down to San Francisco. This is incredible. Coming into the city, I was like, I've never seen so many buildings on top of each other. It's literally like, I don't even know how to describe it. But I had to park like a mile away from where I'm going, but it's kind of near. Fisherman's Wharf and Lombard Street, which is that zigzag thing. That's where I'm going first. Check out. God, look at this. This is insane. Like, how do people live down here? It's in fucking insane. <laughs> that seems a little excessive. About to huff it up this hill. My camera is being held level. This street is fucking steep. <laughs> Just walk up this street. Lambard. Let's see. Let's see what we find. <laughs> this street is so steep. Look at. I know you probably can't tell on camera, but I feel like I'm climbing a mountain. How do people live here? Just keep going. I can take his jacket off. See ya. Yeah. I just came from way. Just came from way over there. I think I go keep going straight. It's fucking hot. It's really hot. So that famous Lombard Street's right in front of me. I take this jacket off before I cross the street. Made it to the famous Lombard Street. People homes are right on the Lambert street thing. I wonder how much those homes cost. <laughs> it's crazy. Look how steep this is. Let's see if we can get a cool picture down here. Bet we can. Dang, that was cool. I hope this time lapse turned out pretty, pretty awesome. These streets are so steep here. It's not even fun. <clears throat> but there's so many tourists. So many tourists up there, but I guess I'm a tourist also. Ah, but now I'm gonna, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go get some food down by the wharf and uh, probably take some more time lapses and photos. I realize I haven't taken many photos this trip, so I, I, need, to, I need to show my Instagram some love. Lombard Street. So I'm guessing, all these are homes. <laughs> Someone's garage. It's kind of funny because I don't feel nervous at all doing this now because there's so many tourists and they're all just taking selfies. <laughs> yeah, so this morning I just, yeah, I really didn't explain. I didn't end the vlog last night, so I found a parking spot and then I, the reason why I didn't close it out was FaceTiming someone, one of my friends, and uh, just went to bed. Found the spot, it was, wasn't, it was easy, it was cool. Just slept in the car, but got up at seven, went to Starbucks, you saw, and then uh, now I just drove down here. As soon as I came over the hill or saw the city, there were so many houses, it was insane. Couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, oh my god, there's just literally buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings. Yeah, there was so much traffic coming in here. I've never seen anything like it. I was super excited just coming in here. So this is what I love doing is exploring on my own, getting out there, experiencing things, getting out of your comfort zone. Because I feel if you need to grow as a person, you need to step out of your comfort zone. Because if you don't, then you're just gonna regret everything. <laughs> That thing turns the uh, trolleys around. Anybody want souvenirs? Made it to the 
Fisherman's Wharf. That's a real life submarine. And there's Alcatraz out in the distance. I didn't even know this was here. It's a big black. T yeah, what's what's a good? So I guess everybody gets like the clam chowder or crab yeah, chowder. Spicy. I'll do that. I like spicy. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. A little windy. Just had some uh, shrimp chowder over at this place. <clears throat> Heard if you're in San Fran, you gotta have the clam chowder, shrimp chowder. So I tried it. It was really, really good. Down here at the Fisherman's Wharf, checking everything out. There's so many boats in the water and everything. It's cool because Alcatraz is literally right over there. Right through that thing. <clears throat> but just down here walking around, I guess. It's starting to rain, which kind of sucks. I'm getting a little tired. But I'm going to check out Pier 39 and then probably go in all these gift shops over here. And then probably go back to the car and make my way to the Golden Gate Bridge, maybe. I don't know. I still got to edit yesterday's video, so. There's that too. <laughs> this Pier 39 is huge. I didn't realize how big it was. There's so many shops on it. We're like way out in the water. <laughs> Let's see, looks like there's a show going on over here. Oh, damn. Crisply. This guy's about to swallow. Boys, my roommate likes to call it. Steve. <laughs> it is wavy in every single direction. Yeah. Ready? Watch closely. Oh, and if you've got a camera. All these seals, holy shit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start walking back to the car now and just see what I can find. Along the shore though, maybe I can get a cool shot of the Golden Gate Bridge. But once I get back to the car, I'm gonna go to the Golden Gate Bridge and see if I get some cool shots there. And then uh, find a place to sit down and get another beer. Maybe on the other side. Maybe climb a hill over there. It'd be pretty cool. And then, I don't know. We'll see. I can do anything. I don't know if you can hear me because it's kind of windy out here. I was just sitting here admiring this view. And I'll show you that in just a sec. I heard some splashing. Like, what is it? And then, this guy is just, just swimming. But, uh, yeah, I found this really cool curve looking pier thing and uh, figured I'd just walk out there and see the view. And it's pretty nice, actually. The view is amazing from here. You get uh, Alcatraz that way, and then you get the Golden Gate Bridge over there, and then you get a freaking crazy view of the city. Look at this. Isn't that nuts? Oh, and there's the. Uh, Ghirardelli factory, I think. Look at this. So that's the Golden Gate Bridge. And then there's Alcatraz. That's why I always say you just go out and explore a city like this. Because you never know what you're going to find. But for real, I'm really trying to get back to the car. It's just right over here. But I'm going to walk right through this park looking thing over there and see what other interesting things I can find. So, look what I found. Check it out. Man, it's I think there's surfers over here when we walk around, check it out. This is a good test for that wind sock to see if it actually cuts all the, the wind out. Beautiful. So, just got back to the car again. Um, so I was I had my camera out, and I was gonna take this really cool picture of me on a bench. I had the viewfinder out so I could kind of see if I was in focus or not. 
and I has, had the timer on to take the picture. Well, my tripod thing wasn't secure and it fell off this bench onto the ground and my flip screen was out. And it landed on it and it cracked it and now that doesn't work. So, this sucks. I can't see if I'm overexposed, underexposed. It's just, I can't see it at all. The, the viewfinder still works, which is cool, but I just have, I have to like look through it and then, like I don't even know if I'm recording right now. Yeah, so, fuck me. I'm tired, I'm gonna go find a place to stay, get some food, now I definitely need a beer. But I'm about to go across the, uh, about to go across the bridge, so I'll film that, at least. I'm on the bridge, I'm on the bridge! It's actually pretty cool. You're just hovering above water right now, and it's a big drop. Dang, I wanna go walk it. Welcome back. I am here. I'm tired. I'm in a hotel room. I know it's pouring outside. There's so much rain going on. Um, it started right after I left. Literally the moment I left the Golden Gate Bridge, it started raining. And I was like, hey, you know what? After my camera broke, I don't want to go find a spot to sleep tonight. This, I just, I just want to find somewhere nice, not worry about anything, get a good night's sleep. So I booked this room. After I left there, I came and checked in here, checked in, hung out for a while, started editing a little bit, took a nice shower, changed clothes, which was amazing. And then I went and found this place called Pine Valley. Where is my phone? Mill Valley Beer Works. So I went there and got, uh, got a nice nitro stout and I got a good sour, a blackberry sour. It was delicious and I had some food and then talked to the bartender, found out a really cool like hike slash run I'm gonna do tomorrow morning. At least I plan on doing it. Um, wake my, I'm gonna wake myself up pretty early and do it. I head up to, head, start heading up the coast. So I'm gonna save what I'm, I have planned for tomorrow, for tomorrow's vlog. I'm still super upset that I broke my camera today. It's a pain in the ass. I hope this mic's on. Okay, good. Um, yeah, it fucking sucks. But I also got some great news that I'll be uh, sharing with you guys later in the week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to editing, I'm gonna go to bed, get a good night's sleep, and I will see you all tomorrow morning. I'm so, I'm so